you need to see also how you want to people to define you. Because I told you, it's not really always about who you are really. It's more about how people see you. I told you, just before joining Microsoft, I was a freelancer. I was doing web development, mobile development. I was creating software. And I had people on Twitter that was uh, giving me some contacts to their customers. And they were all like, oh, work with Freddy. He's a real, really good developer. And nobody, nobody that told the customers that I was a great developer had worked with me in the past. Nobody known if I was really a good developer or just a shitty one. But because people was like, oh, Fred seems to be professional. He seems to be a good developer. You have to work with him. You have to work with him. So it was part of how people define me. And you need to think about this when you're going to think about your personal branding. <laughs> I have nothing to add to this. <laughs> Just do a picture. Do great stuff. Uh, do what you love. If part of your goal to be a brand is to do conferences or to be known or to be that star or to make money, but you're not making something you like, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. That's it. Make it hard. An art. Don't be average. Like, make it... Take what you do, take what you love, take your passion, <coughs> and take it to the next step. Make it an art. For those of you that know Seth Godin, he's talking all the time about giving your heart uh, to people, and not your heart, maybe read the word. Uh, <laughs> giving your art uh, to people. And, and it's really, you need to make it hard. That's gonna be part of your brand, and that's gonna help you to really be successful with your brand. Make your own rules. I'm not about uh, an archie or being, I'm not an archist, but I think that uh, I cannot take no for an answer. Sorry, that's not gonna work. And I'm gonna ask for a thing in life. At some point I realized in my life that if I'm not asking about something and I'm just waiting in my office that someone <laughs> offered me what I want to do or what I would like to have, there's a lot of chance that the answer is gonna be no. If I go and I ask for something, if I go and I make my own rules at some point, I have other chance that people say me, tell me no. But I have a lot more chance that I'm gonna have what I want to have or I'm gonna do what I want to do. So part of that thing is to create your brand, really try to make your own rules. And there is a secret angry then. Are you not gonna like it? And no, it's not that part. It's just a crazy image. You need to get visibility. Because you can be the best person in the world, uh, the best head hunter in the world. If people don't know about it, there is no point. You need to get some visibility. But I'm not talking about tweeting all the time about what you do and always uh, promoting what you do. But there is a right balance. One of the things, one of the advice that I always give to everybody, whether you want to do personal branding or not, start a blog. Start a blog. There is many ways to have free blogs online, uh, even if you don't have those writing skills. I was so bad. I was so bad when I started to blog. All my blog posts was shitty blog posts. And there's still, I still have a lot of shitty blog posts. But I'm way better now than I was before. Why? Because I practice. So start a blog, it's free, it's a good way to get visibility. It's a good way also to uh, help with social media, be on social media. Yeah, I don't like to know what people eat in the morning on Twitter. Yeah, of course, some people talk about their foods, but there's not just there. I told you, when I was a freelancer, I got some contracts, some customers from Twitter. Uh, I got my new job, some new jobs by Twitter, by Facebook, by people, people saw that I was there, people saw that I was active, and that helped me really to create my network. And I really like the first presentation that Frank did, because uh, the, I, I guess that we talked before and I just don't remember, but if you're not on Google, sorry, it does not exist. In 2012, you does not exist. <laughs> So you, most of you are dead today. Because you need to have that physical presence, but you also need to have that, uh, that virtual presence. And you can do this easily. Like, not that I, like, there's expert like friend that's gonna help you. But if you start a blog, if you are on Twitter, if you are on, on Facebook, if you create a LinkedIn page, that's gonna help you. I'm not saying that it's gonna be easy, sorry. But that's gonna help you to have that presence at least on uh, the internet. Speak at conferences. Oh my God, being in front of people, that is crazy, I cannot do this. Yes, you can. That's it. 
you can. And start with easy stuff. There is a lot of conferences or user groups that give you shorter talk. Uh, there are some user groups that do those uh, speaker idols evening. So you have 15 minutes in front of a, a little car, a crowd, a small crowd, and you're going to have experts that are going to give you advice about your speaking skills. That's going to be a good start. That's going to help you to get visibility. That's going to help you to create your network, to grow your network, and to, gr to get new opportunities after this. Create stuff. Write a free ebook online. Create a user group. Create a conference. There is plenty of things you can create, and that's going to help you to do everything you want around your branding. Network. People are so important. Network online. Network offline. Go to these happy hours. Go to these conferences. Go to these user groups. Meet people. Don't be afraid to talk to people. Don't be that uh, business card ninja. But at least <laughs> talk to people, meet to people, meet with people, and, and, and make things happen. So I only have one or two minutes to finish. Would it be good? So at the end, you're probably that expert. I hope not that one, but you're probably an expert that has some skills, that has some knowledge. <coughs> Leave your mark on everything you do. Don't be that average person. Be awesome in the meeting with your manager. Be amazing with your customers. Uh, be spectacular when you're doing that blog post. Do that really good tweets that you wanted to do for a while, but that you were afraid that you're going to disturb some people. Put that slide with that guy that are saying this to the audience. Make it happen, but leave your mark on everything you are doing. And now it's too late. Now it's too late. I don't know if it's a good grammar syntax, but my point is there. Now is too late. You know when people are when people tell you that oh you're looking for a new job, maybe at the time you're looking for a new job, it may not be the good time to start to write your CV or create your LinkedIn profile and trying to create your network online. Same thing with personal branding. Start now. Start yesterday to work about your brand, to create your brand, to make it happen. Because you never know when that's going to be really useful in your life. So you need to start to work on it right now. I'm going to leave you with. Three resources. Uh, I'm not really about personal branding books. That seems funny for a guy that is doing a personal branding presentation. But I really like everything else that's going to help you to create that brand. There is a good book that uh, Chris Brogan and Julius Smith made. Uh, Julius Smith, a guy from Montreal. Uh, it's called Trust Agent. So it's really about being that online agent, uh, that online trust agent, that influencer that people trust. That person that's going to be able to put in relation those people. This is one thing. This is one of my pleasure. I really like when people come to see me and say, hey, Fred, do you know someone in X? Do you know someone in Y? Of course I know. I will put you in contact. I did this with some people in the room. And this is really my pleasure to put those people in contact. So be that trust agent. Really great book. Uh, Seth Godin, one of the 10,000 books that Seth uh, wrote. Lynchpin. It's really about. Are you indispensable? And are you that, what Seth called that linchpin? Become indispensable. And that book is really, really, really interesting. The last one is a free one you can get on Amazon. And if I'm not wrong, again, uh, I am a big fan of Julian, what Julian did. Uh, this is called The Flinch. This is a free ebook, uh, 100 pages, I think. And it's really about getting out of your comfort zone. And if you saw, this is the URL of my blog, I'm really a believer that nothing happens if you stay in your comfort zone. Go out of your, com of your comfort zone, and the flinch is a really good book to make you realize about it. So uh, this is the link of all the images I use in the presentation. So last but not least, uh, I'm going to be there mostly all day. If you have any questions, comment, and salt. Uh, please let me know. This is my personal email. Uh, send me an email, whatever you want. Sometimes I'm taking too much time to answer, so feel free to ping me again if, if that's happening because I'm traveling a lot. Twitter, Facebook. If we know each other, Facebook, I don't know why this is the only thing that I have. Uh, have uh, five minutes. We have to, uh, five minutes for questions. Uh, Mr. there. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Je peux prendre les questions en français aussi.
Yeah, so the question was, uh, I actually started with a statement, I don't believe what you talked about the last 25 minutes. <laughs> I don't believe in personal branding, and it's totally okay. Uh, because this is okay not to believe about personal branding. Uh, the, question, the question was, a lot of people uh, in the past were like those genius or those people that we know, and they were not thinking really about personal branding. So is it, is it really important if we want to succeed? This is a question, kind of. Uh, yes and no. Uh, I said at the beginning, you may think that it's important or not to think about personal branding. This is my own opinion. I think that it's important. If you don't believe in it, just don't try to make that brand. You're going to lose some time. But what I should say is that many people that we know, even if they were not specifically thinking about personal branding, they were still having a personal brand. Think about Steve Jobs. I don't think Steve Jobs at the beginning said, oh, I'm going to create that brand around me, the guy that always near this turtleneck in black and that always do those amazing presentations. But at some point when we're talking about inspirational, great presentation, when we are thinking about great vision, visionary in the IT industry, we think about jobs. Sure. And this is, his, this is part of his personal branding. So you have to choose, you, you have to choose to make it happen for you or not. But the only problem is that it's, uh, is there any social media expert? But one of the things that social media experts always say, and probably Frank's the same thing for SEO, is that if you don't care about what people are saying about you on social media and you just let it go, you lose everything. Yeah. So if you are there, if you have a presence, you can answer with people, you can talk, talk with people. So this is the same thing for personal branding, because I talk about positive things, but at some point people can start to put your brand as, hey, you're not really a good worker and you don't really know what you're doing. And if you don't think about this, you will just be associated with that, I would say, negative brand. So I would say think about it. Don't go crazy. Don't start to write about everything and plan your next 15 years about your brand. But just be conscious that it's important. Uh, I know one I talk last one. I know uh, I talk too much. You're very popular, um, <laughs> Fred. Uh, the girl there. Yeah. Go the girl there. <laughs> I hope I did not say, uh, the question was, is personal branding would be more important than your actual skills? Yeah. Was the question? Uh, no. No, I hope not. Uh, I think you would be able to succeed with a brand without having the skills, but not for so long. At some point, you will be that imposter that people will know about. So, I, like with the job that I was talking before, I can have friends, I can have an network, and I can, I can have that great brand, and people can put my CV on top on the, on, the, on the path, and I can get that job. But after one month, two months, three months, I'm gonna lose my job because I don't have the competence and the competencies to do that job. So I would say that it's a good combination of both of these things. And one last one, uh, sir, in the back. Uh, oh, yeah, Miriam. But you can always find time. Maybe, maybe you don't have to watch that TV series that night that, that will took you one hour. And take that one hour to create your blog or to create a blog post that will really like show your knowledge to people. So it's really about prioritizing what you're doing. But never, never try to like screw your day-to-day -day job because you have to pay 